गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल फाइन ओके वेरी गुड स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इज द सेशन ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडी एज इट हैपन्स रेगुलरली एट दिस टाइम ओके इन द प्रीवियस सेशन ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडी वी हेड स्टार्टेड द न्यू चैप्टर एंड दैट इज scientific management okay till now we have discussed the different principles of scientific management given by f w taylor already we know the propounder of the concept of scientific management is f w taylor okay so taylor has given the four basic principles of scientific management which are known as management is a science not discord management is a harmony uh, sorry management is a science not rule of thumb management is a harmony not discord management is cooperation not individualism and management is the development of each employee up to his greatest efficiency these are the four basic principles which if are followed in the organization then certainly the goals and objectives of the organization can be achieved but you know in order to implement these principles successfully in the organization in the enterprise f w taylor has given some of the techniques of scientific management also and these techniques are very useful and of high value in managing in an enterprise particularly managing a factory since all these techniques are useful for factory management or shop management workshop management therefore the concept of scientific management given by f w taylor is also called floor management you know what are these principles these principles are functional floor management the concept of scientific management given by f w taylor is also called workshop management or floor management and in order to manage the workshop in a scientific manner and to implement the four basic principles uh, some of the techniques have been evolved have been given by f w taylor these techniques are functional foremanship standardization simplification piece wage rate system and etc etc okay now we shall discuss all these techniques of scientific management given by f w taylor in detail one by one okay let us first discuss the technique of scientific management given by f w taylor that is known as functional foremanship you know students the concept of the technique of functional foremanship is based on obtaining high degree high level of specialization for from the experts from the specialist to improve the efficiency and productivity of the enterprise okay and this specialization of different experts can be obtained if the work is divided into so many a smaller units or parts okay and since under functional foremanship each work 
इच एक्टिविटी ऑफ द इंटरप्राइज ऑफ द वर्कशॉप इच प्लान एंड परफॉर्म बाई अ स्पेशलिस्ट अंडर द सुपरविजन ऑफ ए स्पेशलिस्ट सो इफिशियंसी ऑफ द वर्कर इंक्रीजेस ओके हाउ लेट अस डिस्कस यू नो एंड इन फैक्ट द टेक्निक ऑफ फंक्शनल फोरमैनशिप इज एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डिविजन ऑफ वर्क बट इट इज बेस्ड ऑन डिविजन ऑफ वर्क इविन एट माइक्रो लेवल एंड प्लानिंग एंड सुपरविजन ऑफ द वर्क अंडर ए स्पेशलिस्ट अंडर एन एक्सपर्ट ओके वट happens in this technique how this technique is applied in the enterprise let us discuss under this technique the entire factory or the entire workshop is divided into the two departments called planning department and the production department okay these two departments function under the supervision and guidance of a factory manager so the position of factory manager is above all okay there happens to be one officer each for planning department and production department respectively okay the officer of planning department is called planning officer or planning manager whereas the officer of production department is called production officer or production manager okay in plan in planning department there will be four experts who will plan the activities in a scientific manner that means the experts under planning department will make the plan how should the work be performed so long as production department is concerned also there are four experts in it who will in fact execute the plans or who will get the work done in accordance with the plan prepared by the planning department okay the experts or a specialists of planning department are commonly known as a uh, root clerk instruction card clerk time and cost clerk and disciplinarian or discipline in charge and the experts or a specialist of production department are called gang boss a speed boss repair boss and inspector okay now let us discuss the different functions to be performed by these specialists these experts one by one let us first understand the functions to be performed by different experts or a specialist of planning department such as the expert one expert one a specialist of planning department is called root clerk what is the job what is the what is the duty of this clerk of this specialist the job of this specialist is to decide the sequence of work or to determine the stages through which a work will be performed uh, at workshop that simply means the root clerk decide decides how should the work will be performed and by following which instructions into different stages okay the next important expert of planning department is instruction card clerk okay this expert this specialist prepare prepares instruction cards for the workers and in the instruction cards it uh, it is mentioned that which type of material will be used which type of instrument will be used okay 
and which type of method will be used for production all these things are planned by the instruction card color and this card is handed over to the gang boss and the work of the factory of the workshop in production department takes place accordingly the third important specialist of planning department is time and cost clerk okay the time and cost clerk is also an expert or a specialist of determining the appropriate time for doing a particular job at what time a particular job should start and at what time this work should be finished and how much time should be taken in performing a particular work it has to be determined by the time and cost clerk not only this but this expert also estimates the cost of a particular work in the way how much time is involved in it how much money is being spent on it how much cost is involved in it okay so the cost of performing a particular work or activity is also estimated by the time and cost clerk okay the next specialist or expert of planning department is disciplinarian okay disciplinarian disciplinarian is the specialist specialist or uh, expert who ensures discipline at workshop that means this specialist plans how to uh, ensure discipline at workshop so that each and every activity could be performed in a disciplined manner as per rules and regulations and in accordance with the instructions and orders passed by the superiors okay so these are the four main experts or specialists of planning department who plan for the activities or jobs to be performed at workshop under production department also there happens to be four specialist or experts who are called gang boss a speed boss repair boss and inspector respectively let us discuss the functions to be performed by these bosses which a specialist one by one let us first discuss the job of of gang boss okay you know students the existing workforce at workshop is divided into different groups and the head of these groups is called gang boss and the main function of this gang boss is to keep the materials man and instruments or equipments in proper order and to give instructions to the workers accordingly how they should use these things properly okay the next expert or a specialist of production department is called a speed boss a speed boss is that a specialist or expert who determines the speed of a particular work at what the speed production should take place or other activities of the enterprise should take place okay what will be the appropriate speed okay if the speed is very slow it will increase the cost if the speed is very fast it will lead to wastage duplication errors okay so a standard a speed of doing a particular job has to be determined and it is determined by the a speed boss the third important expert or a specialist of production department is called repair boss the function of repair boss is to keep the machines and equipments in proper order or to ensure proper maintenance of all the equipment tools and machines through regular uh, regular 
you can say repairing replacement okay this is the job this is the main function of repair boss and finally there happens to be one inspector whose job is to inspect whether each and every activity is being performed as per plan or not as per instruction or orders or not okay so which eight experts each four by all the sectors of an economy on goods and services thus aggregate demand can also be defined as some total of private final consumption expenditure expressed at c investment expenditure expressed as i government's final consumption expenditure expressed as g and net export expenditure denoted by x minus m okay so from this point of view also aggregate demand is equal to c plus i plus g plus x minus m